At the start of 2020, Tesla founder Elon Musk had every reason to feel pleased with himself. After all, he'd just been ranked the 35th richest person on Earth. Not bad for a self-made tech geek with rather niche interests in electric vehicles and space rockets. Fast forward to the end of 2020, however, and Elon Musk now finds himself ranked the second wealthiest human being alive, behind only Amazon mogul Jeff Bezos. Today, we're looking into the revenue streams which fed into his meteoric rise up the plutocrat pop charts, and asking the question on everybody's lips, will Elon Musk become the world's richest person? During the course of this year, a year marked by financial strife and uncertainty for many people, it should be noted, Elon Musk added around $100 billion to his personal piggy bank. But how? In November, it was reported his net worth jumped a whopping $7.2 billion in just one month when the share value of his car company, Tesla, surged. Tesla, it must be said, hasn't always been such a money spinner, losing money hand over fist for much of its short life. But as of late, the company has enjoyed a hot streak of five consecutive profitable quarters, in spite of the global pandemic. So what drove this surge in share values? The announcement that Tesla will be traded on the Standard & Poor, or S&P 500, index from December the 21st. This early Christmas present is a landmark move into the mainstream for Musk's 17-year-old electric car firm. Now valued at about $538 billion, it will, at a stroke, become the seventh largest company on the S&P 500, in place just above financial services BM off Visa. Thanks in large part to his roughly 20% stake in Tesla, Musk's net worth presently stands at $128 billion. And believe it or not, on top of that, he'll soon be due a rather substantial payday. In 2018, Elon Musk, in those days worth a paltry 20 or so billion, negotiated a historic pay settlement with the Tesla board. The terms of this agreement stated that if Elon Musk could do the impossible and build Tesla up from a 54 billion upstart into a 650 billion giant in just 10 years, he'd be entitled to a one-off share-linked payout of around $55 billion. That was only two years ago, mind. He's already about 85% of the way there. If that windfall was to land in his PayPal account tomorrow, hypothetically, Elon Musk would be worth $183 billion. Jeff Bezos, as we speak, is reportedly only worth $182 billion. Before anybody starts to feel sorry for poor old Jeffy, remember, we're only talking about nominal, on paper, strictly speculative wealth. For now. Because many analysts believe Tesla's value should well soar still higher. Considering governments around the world are right now pledging to ban sales of gas-guzzling cars in favor of Tesla-style electric vehicles, this actually seems almost inevitable. By 2025, experts reckon electric vehicles will make up 10% of all car sales, up from around 3% today. Tesla is already the most valuable car company in the world, worth $530 billion. Compare that to Toyota's relatively measly $198 billion. This is even more striking when you consider Tesla deliver only around half a million vehicles a year compared with Toyota's mighty annual output of 10 million. And lest we forget, Tesla isn't Elon Musk's only job. SpaceX, his rocket company, presents a considerably more complex financial picture than Tesla. Its shares aren't publicly traded, so it's hard to say exactly how valuable it is. Still, an October 2020 analysis by investment giant Morgan Stanley priced SpaceX at a cool $100 billion, up from a previous estimate of $52 billion in August. Musk's futuristic space business looks set to be mission control for the emerging space economy, gushed the Morgan Stanley analysis. So how will it make money? Rockets are a notoriously expensive endeavor, and thus far, SpaceX earns most of its income delivering satellites into low-Earth orbit. Many of these are for third parties. But SpaceX is also depositing hundreds of its own so-called Starlink satellites into orbit as well. The plan is that Musk's privately owned constellation will deliver high-speed internet to places on the globe which are presently inaccessible to broadband. Will it work? Some estimates think Starlink might have over 350 million customers by the year 2040 and be generating tens of billions in annual revenue as soon as the end of this decade. The project is already attracting plenty of smart money, with about $6 billion said to have been put up by assorted parties already, including $900 million invested by Alphabet, parent company of Google. So Elon Musk's personal 54% stake in SpaceX shouldn't do his bank balance any harm, assuming all goes to plan. One question mark hanging over Elon Musk's future wealth is his ultimate passion project, establishing a Martian colony. The technology required to get there is still very much in its infancy. See that rough landing of Starship SN8 just the other day. But if Musk pulls it off, who knows what riches he could make beyond Earth's orbit. Back in January, during one of his trademark rabble-rousing Twitter sprees, Musk suggested he'd like to send a million people to Mars by 2050. It would create, he argued, a lot of jobs. And if you're worried about the expense of getting there, he has you covered. The cost needs to be such that anyone can go if they want, with loans available for those who don't have money. Well, he'll certainly have money.
In conclusion, let's remember Elon Musk himself isn't all that bothered about being the world's richest person. In a recent email to tycoon-oriented Forbes magazine, Musk wrote, I really couldn't care less. These numbers rise and fall. What really matters is making great products that people love.